Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I know I look a little bit crazy right now. I don't have all of my makeup on, but trust me, by the end of this video, I will look at least slightly less crazy. Um, but today we are going to be going through the Sweet Sparkle Box. This is a new subscription service. I did get this sent to me through Octoly. So I will have the Sweet Sparkle and the Octoly's websites listed in the description box below so you can go check them out. If you are a YouTuber, I highly suggest you go check out uh, the Octoly website. You can get some really great free stuff from them. It's been a lot of fun for me. I've really enjoyed working with them. Um, but let's talk about the Sweet Sparkle box. This box does cost $21 a month and they do ship worldwide, which is really, really awesome. Um, and every box, it seems, is kind of um, curated around a theme. And this box happens to be the All-American Girl theme, which I think is kind of fun. Um, but like I said, they do ship worldwide. They're just calling this box the All-American Girl box. Um, and it's all makeup and it is all full-size items, which I think is really awesome. Like I said, it does cost $21 a month. And all the products in here are more of a drugstore type of product. So I gotta be honest, and I do think the price is a little bit steep for this box, especially when you compare it to something like Glossy Box or Boxy Charm, which are also $21 a month, but I know those boxes um, contain a lot more high-end items. I've never gotten those boxes before, so you might actually get more items in this box. Um, but yeah, so anyways, why I'm not wearing makeup. Um, with this box, you can create an entire look with every single product in here, which I think is awesome. So I really like um, the philosophy behind this box. So I'm going to show you the product, and then I'm going to apply it to my face for the first time. So I've not tried any of these products before, so it will kind of be a little bit of a first impressions kind of try on for you. Yeah, I'm really excited to share this box with you, so let's get started. The first two products in the box kind of go together. The first one is a makeup brush. This is from Wet n Wild, and I believe these brushes are pretty new, and I've seen them at the drugstore, I think, or I at least have seen them online on Instagram or something, and I've been pretty curious about them. I think that's really, really cute. It's white with the uh, pink on the top, and this is the contour brush, which goes perfectly along with this um, City Color Contour Kit. This is the Contour and Define Kit, and um, when you open it up, you get four different contouring, highlighting, and blush shades, so you get a really nice wide range of stuff here. So let's go ahead and use this brush to apply some of these products today. Here's a close-up of the brush, and you can see the size and the shape, and I think this is just going to be a really great brush for contouring. I'm really excited to try it. Um, so I'm going to go in here um, first with the contour color, which is this one right here, and uh, try and sculpt my face. My hair has just been so crazy lately, I'm trying to get it out of the way. That's actually blending out really nice, and I like the color too. Oh my gosh, this hair. Yeah, there you go. I think that actually looks really nice. This brush is making it really easy too. Overall, I am pretty impressed. I think a stiffer brush might work better down here on my chin, but I like um, this brush a lot for my cheeks, but we're gonna make it work today. And then with this bronzer shade, I'm just gonna go ahead and go along my hairline. And here is the blush, and I am going to use a different brush with that. Um, this is just one from e.l.f. Um, I think this is kind of a pretty color. A little bit natural looking, but yeah, just gives a little bit of life to your cheeks. I like that. I've used a couple of things from City Color before in the past, but I don't think I've ever used any of their powder products, so I was really curious to see um, how these would stack up. I know uh, Emily Noel 83 um, likes these kind of products um, from uh, City Color, so I had high hopes because I pretty much trust everything that she says. Um, but yeah, I do really like this. I'm definitely going to continue to use that. I seem to have gotten a little bit ahead of myself. I did not use the highlight in here. Um, and when I first opened this box the other day, I thought that this highlight was just a matte highlight. But now that I'm looking at it out of the packaging, I think it might have a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, yeah, just a very slight, I don't even think you're going to see it on my hand very well. Um, but it looks like it just has the tiny, tiniest amount of sheen to it. Um, and I'm going to use this huge Morphe brush for that. This is the M500. Um, and I'm just going to highlight my face real quick. you can kind of see that it's um, definitely a more natural looking highlight so if you don't like something super in your face and you would really like this typically I like something a little more in your face but this is pretty um, if I'm just looking for a more subtle makeup day then this would work really well this palette does seem to have a really nice magnetic closure to it which I really appreciate 
All right, now moving on to my eyes. I did already put some eyelid primer on, and as you can see, I did fill in my eyebrows before I hopped on the camera today. Um, but this box includes this really pretty uh, eyeshadow palette from Jordana. This does it have a name. This is the Made to Last eyeshadow palette. It's got a really nice neutral array of shades there. Um, so let's dig right in and see what kind of look we can come up with. And this appears to be an all matte eyeshadow palette, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but I'm gonna go in with this shade here into my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this pink all over my lid. I've never used anything from Jordana before, I don't think, and this eyeshadow is actually really pretty. It's very smooth and creamy feeling. And the pigmentation isn't um, absolutely incredible, but it's pretty good, especially for something that um, is, I would assume, pretty inexpensive. Um, but yeah, that is building up quite nice. I actually really like that. It's subtle, you know, very natural looking, but I think it is really pretty. For my outer crease, I'm gonna darken it up a little bit with this dark brown color. I do that triangle uh, shape that I showed in my latest tutorial, or my first tutorial, really. I will try to remember to link it to it up there, but I kind of do this triangle shape to kind of pull up my eyes a little bit because I don't like to do winged eyeliner. So this kind of gives a similar effect, you know, just not quite so intense, but this is actually working really well. I like this. <laughs> I like this eyeshadow a lot. It's blending out really well. It's got a, a good pigmentation on it. Yeah, that's pretty. everything out real quick. All right, now here's the eyeliner that came in the box. This is from Revlon, and this is the Photo Ready Kajal Intense Eyeliner and Brightener. Um, so I think it has two sides to it, so let's go ahead and open it and take a look. So here's what the eyeliner looks like. It is double-sided. You get the traditional black eyeliner, and then the white side, they say, is to brighten up the inner rim. Um, so I'm gonna try that. I think I've tried that once or twice before, but this I don't think is quite as bright. I think I had like an actual white eyeliner, and this one looks like it's more, yeah. Um, it's just kind of like a creamy nude color. I'm a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but not like a stark white. And I have tried that before and I didn't like how it looked, but I'm willing to try it again. Maybe this color will look a little bit better on me, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like. This is drawing on really, really nice. I like the consistency, um, at least of the black side so far. This is pretty good. Hopefully the white side will be nice too. All right, so I am gonna use the black on my lower lash line, but I'm not going to go into my waterline. All right, that side looks really, really sloppy, but I'm gonna go through and blend it out with some eyeshadow, so should be okay. All right, but now let's try this white side and see how this looks in my inner rim. Oh, that is really, really bright, and my eyes are already really big to begin with, so I don't know that this stuff is necessarily necessary for me, but somebody with smaller eyes I can see why this uh, trick would be really good yeah that is oh I probably should not have put that black right there because now it's all kind of muddying together if you guys see that mmm that does not look good but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side just to even it out but I don't know that I'm gonna use this again I don't think I like how this looks yeah, that looks really strange. I don't think I need to do that. My eyes are big enough as it is. Um, but it's always fun to try new techniques or ones that you haven't tried for a while. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the uh, eyeshadow palette and I think I'm going to use this dark brown and then kind of buff out the lash line. All right, I have to fix that. I can't deal with that. I'm gonna go over my uh, waterline with the black and hopefully that fixes it. It just looks like this weird, like, muddy gray color because it mixed uh, with the black, so I definitely did that wrong. So much better. And then I'm going to further buff out the lash line with this color right here. Then I think I'm gonna go back to the contouring palette um, because this is all matte, so I'm gonna do a little bit of um, shimmery highlight on my brow bone and then the inner corner with this color here. And then give it one last buff to make sure that everything's blended together. I really like that eyeshadow, that's really pretty. And I did like the um, black part of the eyeliner. The white side I didn't like quite so much, but just might be personal preference. My eyes are so big as it is, I really don't need to make them even bigger. Uh, but like I said, it was kind of fun to try it again, but I don't think I will be using that side again. But I did like the black a lot. 
We did also get a mascara in this box. This is also from the brand Jordana, and this is the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. So let me go ahead and open it, and we'll see what it looks like. It's got a pretty typical bristle brush wand, which I do like. So let's see how this looks on the eyes. All right, so that is what two coats of the mascara looks like. It is quite clumpy, I gotta say. Not my favorite formula that I've ever tried, but um, I will still use this mascara since I have opened it, uh, but I don't know that I would uh, seek this one out. Let's see how it does on the lower lash line, though. All right, now moving on to lips. We got two different products here, a lip liner and a lipstick. This lip liner is from Clean Color, and does it have a color name? This is just called Hot Red. Um, let me go ahead and do a little swatch of it for you. So that is what the lip liner looks like, and then let's take a look at the lipstick. I don't know that I uh, took this out, so I'm not sure what color it is. Hopefully it's a red that will match. Oh, okay, it's a liquid lipstick, that's cool. This is from the brand Rude Cosmetics, and this is their Notorious Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the color Radical Red, so let's go ahead and open this. Um, I like how there's a little safety seal on it. Always appreciate those. Um, I'll go ahead and do a swatch of this too. So there is the liquid lipstick and then the lip liner right next to each other, and I will go ahead and apply those, and we'll see how those work. This is gliding on really, really smooth. There's no smell with this lip color, which I really appreciate as I'm trying to talk and put this on at the same time. That doesn't work very well. Um, but yeah, there is no smell, which I really appreciate, right? Oh, okay, good. I thought I got it on my nose. That would have been interesting. Oh, I did get it on my teeth, though. And this does appear to be drying down matte. It is quite sheer, so I'm having to do a few coats to get it to the opacity that I like, but it's building up easily. It's not like uh, balling or you know getting all weird. Some of them do that, and this one appears to be building up just fine. All right, so there is the completed look. I really like this box. I really like this lip color. Again, it was a little bit on the sheer side, but it built up super easily, so um, I think it looks really nice, and I like that it is drying down really matte. Um, it still is a little bit sticky, but I have a feeling that this will dry uh, practically completely matte. Um, as you can see on my hand, most of that swatch has completely dried down. So if you're in the market for a new subscription service or it's not something that you've ever done before and you just want to try one, this one is really fun. Again, I will have a link to their website down below so you can go check them out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. I will have my link listed down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!